please, please, please do not wait six months, eight months, nine months mm, to wash your hair. <laughs> Hey y'all, I'm Sasha. Welcome back to Carefree Curls. Today I'm going to be talking about how long you should wait to wash your hair in between retwists and how often you should retwist your hair. So before we get started, make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe down below to join the family, okay? Alright y'all, so let's jump right into it. So, when I first um, got my locks started and went to my stylist, she suggested that I would get my hair retwisted every three weeks until it was more mature and more locked where it wouldn't um, unravel while she was washing it pretty much. So she probably suggested that I would come back every three weeks like two or three times after my initial install. Then after maybe like the third retwist, I would come back every four to six weeks. So I think that's a pretty general standard and I think that's about how much people usually get their hair washed and retwisted. Please, please, please do not wait six months, eight months, nine months hmm, to wash your hair. No, <laughs> I need you to go ahead and cleanse that scalp boo-boo because keeping your scalp clean and keeping it free of dirt and oil and um, keeping, allowing your scalp to breathe and not be clogged is what's gonna help your hair flourish. It's gonna help your hair grow. So please do not wait months and months and months to wash your hair. So yes, you can use a dry shampoo or a scalp cleaning product, but understand that it's not going to completely get rid of all the bacteria and build up in your hair. And, um, and like I said, it's gonna probably slow down your hair growth or it's not gonna help your hair growth maximize. So make sure <laughs> you wash your hair. Water is going to not only keep your hair moisturized, but it's going to allow the um, shed hairs to move down your lock, um, which is why we retwist. So washing your hair overall is just, even when you're loose natural, it doesn't even matter, relax, whatever. Water is good for your hair. Okay, period. So if you're washing your hair, I, if you don't mind not having the fresh retwist look, it is okay to wash your hair between retwists. Now, if you're if you have starter locks, starter locks like me, I would suggest that you wear a stocking cap on your head. And I did do do I did do <laughs> I did do, do I did do a video about this. Um, I tried the stocking cap. <sighs> I did do a video about this. I tried the stocking cap method, and it worked for me. And my of course my roots got puffy and whatnot however my hair did not unravel and my scalp was clean and I, my head wasn't itching and I was okay life is okay you know I didn't it wasn't the end of the world that I couldn't see my parts anymore you know what I mean um, I've been working out anyway so having the fresh retwist look doesn't last long anyway for me so if it's not something you care about you can definitely wash your hair between retwist now if you want to um, only wash your hair thoroughly or whatever, only shampoo your hair um, while you retwist, then I would suggest, yes, doing it every three three to four weeks if you are if you have starter locks or if your hair is more mature, you probably would be able to do four to six weeks or even more. Some people do like every two months, whatever works for you. I feel like once your hair is more mature or just depending on your hair in general um you you'll be able to kind of figure out what kind of schedule is going to work for you and what you have going on for your life and what your hair you know to meet your hair's needs at the same time so you'll kind of figure it out along the way so there really isn't like a perfect schedule for retwisting and washing your hair so you'll have to kind of figure out yeah what works for you now how often to retwist your hair you don't want to over retwist your hair like i know some stylists or whoever people they might retwist their hair every two weeks i think that's a little bit too much tension on your scalp and you're going to end up thinning your locks over time if you continue to reset if you continue to get your hair retwisted every two to three weeks yes starting out that might be what you need to do like the first few couple months you might need to come every three weeks but after that you need to start stretching out the retwist um so that you're not over twisting your hair over twisting your hair 
like I said, it's going to cause tension. It's going to cause breakage. It's not going to allow your hair to really um, matte and tangle like it needs to to lock. So, yeah, y'all, please don't over twist your hair. Y'all, give me a thumbs up for this lighting, okay, girl? I'm trying the natural lighting thing. I also have a new scene for y'all. This is my Mary Kay office slash work office but mostly I do my Mary Kay work in here um, but just yeah I want to try out a new room today and try out using the natural lighting so let me know what y'all think um, definitely give me a thumbs up <laughs> for trying out some new stuff down below um, but yeah y'all so I mean that's all the advice I have right now on washing your hair and retwisting your hair so since the girls and homeboys thank you so much for watching y'all if you have any um, advice please leave it down below how often do you wash your hair do you wash your hair between retwist um and how often do you retwist your hair so leave that down below and let's help each other let's get talking in the comments y'all and thank you so much for watching make sure you follow me on instagram at carefree curls i'm always on there um <laughs> to help you i'm always um on my insta story so yeah hop on there follow your girl and uh make sure you subscribe and i will call y'all back see you later